Hi everyone, I'm Natalie of So Hungry Hippie, and I'm just going to click around here to make sure everything's working right. You know what I mean? Yep, looks like it is. Okay. So first of all, welcome. It's Friday. It's the 11th. We've got a few days here before Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day because of all the pink and the hearts. Who doesn't like hearts, right? Uh, I, I never, I don't know, the romantic part. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> if you're here, let me know where you're tuning in from. Let's see here. Make sure this is, yep, there we go. You can comment. If you give StreamYard permission, I can see your name. If not, it'll just show up as anonymous, and that's fine, too. Hi, Debbie. Yeah, it's Friday. That's my favorite day. No, actually, I think Saturday is my favorite day because I know I can sleep in, and I can wear jammies all day if I really want to, and nobody can judge because it's Saturday. <laughs> Hey, Kat. Hey, Bethany. Hey, Elizabeth. Hello. Got your coffee in hand. Hi, Pat. Nice to see you here. Um, okay, so today I'm going to answer questions. There have been some questions coming in through email, so I'll address those. And I'm going to show you how to make a cute little thingy. Let me tell you about this. I, I made this last night really quick, and it's a coaster. I know that's super simple, but let me explain. I like putting the soft vinyl on the back because it's a little bit of bling, but you can hide it if your like conservative friend comes over, right? And the fabric on the top can be any scrap you have, anything. I use Tula Pink. Let me show you. This is the one I use because I have a ton of it. I think I'm going to make bed sheets out of this. Uh, let me see what it's called again. I forgot. It was her Curiouser and Curiouser line. It just says curiouser and curiouser, 108 inch quilt backing. Oh, big buds. <laughs> that type was real small. Uh, and then if you want to try out adding pom-pom trim, this is the thing to do it on, right? Because you guys know I have the pom-pom on my patchwork pillow, on my patchwork quilt. A lot of you are super scared or don't know how to attach it. So I'm just going to show you today. Super easy. It's very, very simple. Get yourself either a zipper foot or a skinnier foot than your regular sewing machine foot. Now, on my Juki TL2000, it's the regular foot. It's already real skinny. But on my Bernina, on my Janome, I have to put on a zipper foot. It just makes it easier. Okay. Now, let me look through here a little bit. Lots more people coming in. Hi, everyone. Yay. Friday morning, right? Okay, so this was the original inspiration. I made these little patchwork coasters, I don't know, maybe two years ago, and I use them all the time. I like to have glasses of ice to chomp. I have soft ice. And uh, I set it down, you know, and it makes the rings on the furniture. And I'm finally at the age where I kind of care. <laughs> you remember your mom telling you, you know, years ago, don't set your glass on the uh, coffee table. It leaves a ring and you're like, whatever. Well, now I care. So I, I make coasters out of scraps from my scrap bin. And this was the devil because these are one inch scraps. <laughs> so I wasn't going to do that to you. That's why if you want to go right ahead. But what we're going to do is this. Remember, the soft vinyl can be washed and dried. Just like my skirt. This is so final. And I wear this because I'm, you know, I, I like to be a little blingy. And I wash and dry it on cool, no problems. It's, I almost pulled up my skirt. What am I thinking? It's like this corduroy-ish back, backing, okay? Let me show you the two wristlets that my mom made. Bet it. Aren't they pretty? This is that uh, free pattern if you're signed up for my email or a dollar in the shop if you're not. And this is the soft vinyl as well, wrist straps and soft vinyl. And you can use whatever fabric you want to on the inside and you can wash these. You know, when you're a bag maker, a lot of times bags uh, are either a pain in the butt to wash 
or you're worried about how it, the bag will change when it comes out of the machine. So that's why I really like working with the soft vinyl. So today I'm going to be using Pink Nebula and stick around to the end because I'm going to send somebody a little piece. This is not a full piece. I've already cut into this because it's my favorite and I, any new bag I make, I want to make it out of this. <laughs> uh, so Pink Nebula Soft Vinyl, a scrap of fabric, a scrap of batting, or you can use if you're feeling fancy, you can use the thermo, whatever, if you really want to. Um, I don't use this very often except for microwave bowls because it can, I don't know, not burst into flames. Somebody told me that if you microwave the batting a lot, it bursts into flames, but it never has for me. <laughs> so I don't know. Do we need to put a safety OSHA warning on this show? Probably. All right, so what I'm gonna do is place my fabric and batting together. And I just like to press it real quick because it seems to stick a little bit better that way. Um, you know what? I'm gonna switch to the overhead camera because then you can see exactly what I'm doing. So let's do this. Okay, there we go. Overhead view. So my batting and fabric, I'll just place it over here. Oh, I got out these rulers because you might have one sitting around. This is a six and a half inch ruler, and that's why these are six and a half inches. They're slightly bigger than the first ones I made, but not by much. And don't look at the pom-pom ball I lost. <laughs> that was a mistake. So you see, that's how I cut it out. So one piece of fabric, one piece of batting one piece of soft vinyl, or if you don't want to use soft vinyl, use whatever. You could use jeans, you could use uh, quilting cotton or canvas or whatever you want. Now you're going to need 30 inches of pom-pom trim to make it around the six and a half inch square. And these pom-poms are in my shop at SoHungryHippie.com. <gasps> I have to show you guys. I bought a ton more pom-poms. And I've got all kinds of colors coming in soon, okay? I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to parcel it up. Right now, this one is per yard. So what I do is I place that flat edge, not the ball edge, with the raw edge of the, the soft vinyl or whatever you're using. And I just kind of... Curve it around. Don't get too nitpicky here. It's okay. And I'm going to clip it all the way around. Don't pull your pom-pom or it can make your coaster like want to pull inwards. Try to give it some ease. Take it easy like Sunday morning. Oh. All right, here we go. And we're just going to go all the way around. Get yourself some wonder clips if you don't have any. These things are just so useful. You can pin this if you want to. You won't be able to see the hole. But I have just been, um, I don't know, not as careful as usual. And I keep stabbing myself with pins. So I'm, I've am i resorted to the wonder clips. Okay, now I've got a little overlap there. That's good. When we get up to here, what I'm going to do here is trim that guy off. And then I'll, I'll overlap this one here. And there will still be a ball in the corner there, you see? Okay, so let me bring in my machine. But before I do that, if you've got any tools like this, if you're worried, you know, use it like a stylus if you're worried about your fingers getting too close. I always advocate these tools and then I never use them. But I wanted to show you, you don't have to get like a proper stylet. You can if you want. This one I think is $2 or something, the purple thing. But I have also just used a screwdriver or a paintbrush. Live your life, right? Use whatever works. Now, I'm going to do this like this today 
just because Ramel is not here to help me switch cameras. So I'm going to pull, I'm pulling that guy back just a smidge, and I'm going to start right here and sew all the way down. Now, what I'm trying to do is get as close. Well, actually, my first one, I just sewed in the middle. If you want a really tight look, try to come way over here, like right here. But you don't have to get it. You don't have to be crazy about it. If you sew down the middle, it's going to be fine. I'm going to do mine like that and show you. All right. I've got my stitch length at two and a half. And here we go. Now, because I've got a skinny foot, I'm okay. And I'm just going to keep sewing, taking the clips out as I sew. When you get to a corner, you'll stop with your needle down lift your foot and turn. Don't even take your needle out. Just like if you've ever done binding. Some people have a fancy trim foot. I, I'm forgetting the name of it right now, but you can use that too. If anyone knows, go ahead and comment. <laughs> yes, a pencil works too. I see you, Clovis, yes. Exactly. Remember not to stretch either pom-pom nor your fabric or vinyl. I'm almost done. I'm going to bring this around. Oops. All right, coming up on the edge here. I'm just gonna sew back and forth a couple of times, make sure it's in there. Okay, so there's that. Trim off any excess. And now you've got your piece like this. This is exactly how I attach it in the patchwork pillow and the patchwork quilt. Now for this guy, you can quilt it however you want. What I'm gonna do is just do an X, eyeballing it really quickly for the demo. That's what I did on this guy. And I, I kinda like the look, but if you want more quilting, go ahead and do it. When it's this small, you don't have to use spray basting or anything. You can if you want, certainly but I don't find I need it. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to give this a quick press in just a minute, but see how my batting is slightly bigger? I'm going to trim that up real quick because on the next step, when we attach it to this, you want it to be exactly the same. Now this one looks like I didn't cut perfectly. That's all right, I'll fudge it a bit. Okay, now let me do, let me switch cameras. So I'm just gonna press it really quick, get any wrinkles out, that kind of thing. And yes, the soft vinyl can be pressed. Remember from the wrong side, it's no problem, but we don't need to do that yet. So now you're just gonna, just like, I don't know what I was gonna say, a bag, right sides together. And then you'll leave a small opening to bring the coaster back out, okay? So just like bag making. So I'm gonna use the clips again to hold this in place. We're going to flip it so that we're sewing right on that pom-pom seam that we just sewed the pom-pom trim on with. I think these would make cute little housewarming gifts or just a fun little project when your brain can't take anymore, like on a Friday afternoon. Um, I don't know, little scrap busting projects. I think they're 
fun and nice. Sometimes you only have 20 minutes to sew. You could just make a couple of these and cuten up your space. Could be a mug rug. Could be a Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc. Or <laughs> I did all three. <laughs> you know, white wine, whatever. Wine in a box for all I care. All right, almost all the way around. Yay, hi, hi, Joni, hi, Debbie. Oh, and if anyone's watching on YouTube, I had a comment one time about how dumb it was that I was saying hi to everybody. And I just wanna say, if you want a quick and dirty tutorial, then you watch a video that's edited. These live events are for community building and relationships, you know, people matter. Okay. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave my opening in the middle because I, I don't like having openings on the corners. It's harder to turn that edge in and get it looking really nice at the end. Bethany's cutting out a brownie themed retreat bag. Yeah. Are your kids, obviously your kids are in brownies. That's fun. Okay. So I should say when you're sewing this shut, look at the side where you can see the stitching of where you attach the pom-pom trim and you'll stitch right on that line. That's your guide. You'll know that you're catching everything. You're not going to have any uh, stitches showing through to the other side, that kind of thing. So I'm going to put this under here and then I'll switch to bird's eye view and move my machine over. And then we'll have time to talk and stay for the end. I'm going to have a couple of treats. All right. Yeah, just like last week. Let me see her. Birds eye view. There we are. Okay. So, oops. I'm driving with my shoes on right now. Does anybody sew barefoot or with just socks on? Because that's. That's how I feel like I have the most control. Isn't that weird? But maybe it's not weird. Maybe that's the majority of people. Just coming around here. I feel like so many instances coming around the mountain is applicable and I, it's in my head constantly. You would have thought I was Appalachian. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yeah. Now it's going to be in your head all day. You're welcome. Okay, I think this is my open. Is that my open end? Yeah. So I'm just going to. So if you want to, you can trim the corners out. Honestly, I didn't really see much difference with that. And I don't want you to cut any pom-poms off by accident. So just be careful if you're going to trim that. And then you've got the hole here that we can turn it right sides out. Tori, you behave. Her hackles are up. I think she sees the, the mailman. Okay, now I'm going to give it a press and I'm going to switch cameras. Okay, so I just turn in that raw edge. You might need a pin or your thumb or your paintbrush or stick or whatever you want to call it in that last corner. Push it out. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold that in, make it look nice and clean and give it a press. Don't worry about ironing. Remember that soft vinyl, it can take it because you're, you're really just pressing the wrong side there. I have this app 
and it buzzes me every time my kids get a grade in school. And I'm always worried during a live, it's like, your volume's not on or something. So that's why I look, I'm not trying to be rude. <laughs> and also, geez, there's a lot of grades. Man. Okay, so I'm just going to close it. If you want to go all the way around, you can. I'm just going to close that opening really quick. For demo purposes. Done. I should have made like a, a glass of wine or something here so I could like Vanna White or something. But that's it. It's so fun and it's so easy. It doesn't matter if you're brand new or beginner sewist or anything. Just jump in, crawl up that high dive ladder and jump in because <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, Elizabeth says, OSHA tip for sewing room, always wear some sort of shoe, even flip flops. I am paranoid about stepping on a pin. And in spite of my best efforts to always pick them up when I drop one, one escapes me. Isn't that the truth? It's like Murphy's Law. Yes, I listened to Seems Funny last night. It was so fun. <laughs> Is that the one where we were talking about wearing chain mail and all that? That was a fun episode. I'm super into medieval, like knights and all that stuff. It just like fires me up. I don't know what it is. Maybe I was supposed to live in the 1300s, but they didn't have sewing machines then. So I, I don't know about hand, hand stitching all the time. I just don't know. Um, let's see here. Let me grab my little mouse. Let me put some of these up here. Melanie says, good tip. I hate walking barefoot anyway, so I wear flip-flops and slide foot out onto the pedal. That's true. That's smart. Um, I love to sew barefoot, and I love the tip about using the curling iron mat under the pedal. So, you guys, I bought a few more. This is what they look like. This is what I talked about last week on the live. It's a curling iron. Well, they call it styling heat mat, but there's a picture of a curling iron on it. It was, I believe, $7 on, I'm not going to say it out loud. I have an Alexa and she is nosy. Let me tell you. I'll be talking about something to my husband and then that's all the advertisements I see. And I just think, what's going on? <laughs> so yes, get yourself. This is a, a made smart heat styling mat. And I have mine under my pedal right now. It's awesome. Okay, off the subject, but is that a jacket made out of soft vinyl? Yes, it is, Ruth. This is... Deep space soft vinyl, so is the curio case. And um, this is an iris messenger bag in pink. Yes, yeah, so this is a jacket. And I have lots of pictures of me wearing this. I I usually it's all wrinkly right now because I had it thrown in my drawer, but uh, I wear this to sewing retreats whenever that happens. <laughs> Might be a couple more years <laughs> the way we're going. I don't know. I hope not. So that is deep space. <clears throat> this is the pink sock vinyl. And this is the iris uh, messenger bag pattern. I, I only have this pattern in PDF. And there is a zipper pocket on the back and then a zipper, although I don't have it zipped shut right now, zipper inside to keep your stuff inside. All right, let's see, what else? I know there was something else I was gonna say. Let me look, let me look. I did get some white pom-poms in, a ton of them. Uh, you know, I love those farmhouse photos that I see where people have, you know, lots of white and everything looks clean and it's so pretty. And I thought, well, why not try this? It probably will go with a lot of things. And uh, I'll have to list those in the shop this week. What else? Let's go through here and see if, what does Aaron say? Depends on the season's thing. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, I, I've been wearing tights a lot, um, even under my jeans, which is so weird, but it I think it keeps me warmer. Um, Ella Lou says, I only sew barefoot and stocking foot. 
Yeah. Barefoot and I drive barefoot too. You do? You rebel, Della. <laughs> um, all right. Am I missing any questions? Shoes interfere too much. I like it. Okay, so throw a question up if you have one about anything right now. As you know, I'll say I don't know if I don't know. Research it. Somebody last week asked about washing the Moon Glow vinyl, and it does wash fine. I didn't want to risk putting it in the dryer, so I air dried it, and it was fine. However, it did make me think, uh, you know, the soft vinyl, I can see why you would want to wash it, but Moon Glow Taupe, on a bag, I think I would just spot clean, to be honest. I don't think I'd risk everything warping. If you've got, you know, fabric top and moon glow vinyl at the bottom, I'd be worried there'd be some tension issues. So, oh, Ella, yeah, I, I made a boo-boo and I had said Target, but it was really Amazon. <laughs> so don't worry, cause guess what? I've got one here to give away. I've got a zipper pack number three with 10 poles or nine poles, maybe it is. It's my navy blue and pink uh, zipper pack. And I've got some glitter webbing. I have so much of this coming in, I'm slightly worried we're gonna be able to walk around. <laughs> So um, I know it says some colors are out on the website, but it's on the way. And it's it's always very funny, like tracking will show me um, waiting to ship, waiting to ship, waiting to ship. And then the next day it's here. So, you know, whatever. I guess it's not just me that has technical issues. Um, Ella says, do you have a pattern for the skirt? I'd like to make one. I just drafted this. I just um, drew out on paper a three-quarter donut and did it. But there is a nice pattern for a wrap skirt. I believe it's McCall's. So I will comment that pattern number in the comments after I'm done. I'll find it for you. Uh, Stella asks, is a soft vinyl able to be ironed? Yes, from the wrong side. I have a video on my YouTube channel all about the soft vinyl. And I show you all the different colors and how you can wash and dry it, you can iron it. All my vinyl you can iron from the wrong side, except the plasticky ones, you know, the, the see-through, crinkly plastic ones, which usually I have a bag in here. But I had to take it the other night to something I went to because they demanded clear bags. Thank goodness I have an arsenal of them. Okay, if the weight of your clear vinyl to be used as Tula did for any bag, would I need interfacing stabilizers on fabric? I saw what she did. That she used a different brand and it is a little bit heavier. So mine that I use for the same process is a 10 gauge. And the reason I use it is because it's easier to work with, it bends easier. It's, it's, just, it's just easier for me. Uh, so what I do is I build my bag however I normally do. So for the one on my Instagram feed with GoGo Go Kim's New York Beauty, and it's got uh, purple glitter webbing, like I just posted it a few days ago, you'll see it. That one has batting for the interfacing because I was using leftover quilt batting and the SF-101 on my fabrics. And then I laid the 10 gauge vinyl over top and sewed the whole thing together. And I believe, yes, I do have a YouTube video for that. It's called Clear vinyl overlay for your bags um, and it's on my Facebook feed if you scroll back a little bit I posted that link so it just depends um, what she did is not wrong in any way it's just a 12 gauge vinyl it behaves a little bit differently and I think that's why she said it was so much harder she said exponentially harder to turn out it's because of that gauge which is why I don't use it anymore I used to sell that not after so many emails. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that's why. Okay. Um, thread and zipper strap were same color. Um, I don't. Okay. 
DJ says, have you seen the commercial with the couple and Alexa Reed? Yes. Isn't that crazy? I think it's true. It's happening. Um, oh, she said it was 16 gauge. There you go. I used to sell that too. I used to sell all the way up to 20 gauge. I, I know what brand it was. I thought it was, oh, I know what's happening. So I go by millimeters and that other brand, I don't think she's going by millimeters. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on, but it's not the same system. <laughs> Is there a general length to buy for an over the shoulder bag just to have it on hand with? So I sell these in lengths of 18 by 54 and that's plenty to make a big bag. That's, that's quite a bit. It'll make like two or three Santorini totes or it'll make this Iris messenger bag. I think a length or two of this is nice to have. Um, I have some people that buy just all the colors of that and then they see which one they like the most and they'll buy five at a time just so they have it on hand because it is one of those that everyone likes when they try it just because it behaves like fabric. It's so easy. So, oh gosh, I don't want to get into trouble for that, for that clear vinyl stuff. It's just, it's, you know, like a, see, this is why I should edit videos. I had a little trouble with the clear vinyl sticking to my machine, but I got through it. So Judy, if that's the case, you can get a Teflon sheet again, Amazon. They're like $6. And you can just lay it on your sewing machine bed or tape it. I've also seen people tape wax paper to their machine and just work with it like that. If indeed it's the bottom that is sticky for you. Make sure you're using a Teflon foot. A roller, a roller foot is not the same. And I don't advocate the tape trick because it just tends to mess up. So. I'm a fan of investing in tools that help you and make it easier. So I would say get a Teflon foot. Uh, let's see here. Somebody just rang my doorbell. Yes, the bottom. Okay, so yeah. Teflon foot or wax paper, wrap it around your bed, cut it, tape it in place, and then you won't have a problem at all. If you're in a hot climate, uh, sometimes that can happen. It doesn't tend to happen that my room is cool. But in the summer, I have, sometimes I all have issues with that. Yep, Teflon foot. Clovis is a fan. Oh, Della said she washed the bag with the soft vinyl and dried it in the dryer, and it was perfect. Yay. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. Any more questions here? Anybody? Oh, Bethany says, is it McCall's 7129? Let me look it up. McCall's. That is, that is, that's a good one. That's uh, kind of like a poodle skirt. And I've, I've made that one a ton of times. I recently bought one, maybe it's not McCall's, that is just slightly less uh, poofy? What was the word? <laughs> Slightly less circumference? I don't know. Something like that. But that's a good one. That 7129 is a good one. I have that in my keep forever box. All right. Well, let's get into it. Let's do some giveaways. Pretty soon, I hope to have like background music so we can set the mood. This is a Zen time. This is a time for relaxation and camaraderie, not for thinking about the news or <laughs> any, anything. Uh, okay, let's do a chunk of pink, pink Nebula vinyl, and I will send some hot pink glitter webbing to go with it. <laughs> I'm going to have you comment Pink Nebula. Okay, to be eligible. And then just like last week, my kids will just come home and say, this one. Okay, 
Next, we'll do the Made, made Smart heat mat. A uh, comment, Made Smart. <laughs> and then we'll do, let's do this. I don't have, I don't have the cardboard piece that so what's funny is the distributor that I order from sometimes things have been showing up without their cardboard sleeve or wrapper and that's exactly what happened with this one so it's not used but it might look that way this will be zipper pack and a purple thang that's how it's spelled purple thang so let's do um zipper pack all right fun well, I think that's all I've got for you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, remember to share or like or subscribe if you're on YouTube or whatever, you know, all that stuff. It's all, They're always changing the name of it. Follow, hit the beat button, hit the horn, whatever. <laughs> and if you make any of these coasters, I want to see them. Post them in the group. Join the Facebook Makers group. It's If you go to my page, So Hungry Hippie, you'll see a little title or something that says groups, you can click that and hop over and join and post your stuff. I've really been trying to share people's makes. If you've noticed on the main Facebook page and also in Instagram stories, that's going to be ramping up. So get your stuff in there, put your social media handle. If you have one and want it shared, if you don't, that's fine too. I'll just say your first name, but uh, I love sharing you guys, your work. It's amazing. So keep it up. Do something fun today. Do something for you. Take five minutes. Have a moment. Get a box of wine. Right, Kat? <laughs> All right. And I'll see you here next week at 11, and we'll do something else. Sound good? All right. See you later. Thanks.